Hello all. In this video, I'll be looking at the Hongdui HD KS22 miter fence with flip stop, kindly sent to me by Banggood for review. As I unbox, you'll have noticed on the bench there is my current setup. The Hongdui TBO1 miter gauge, one I believe is among, if not the best on the market, along with the Incra telescoping flip fence and flip shop stop. It's a setup I've been pretty happy with. Hongdui, as you'll know if you've watched any of my reviews, are a premium Chinese tool manufacturer, much like America's Incra. So is this Hongdui fence good enough to make me want to put the Incra on the shelf? Well, let's have a detailed look and see. The first thing you notice out of the box is how heavy it is. This thing has some heft, and some very thick walls make up the section of the fence extrusion. Some of that weight is clearly from the two embedded stainless steel rods within the profile. These, released by a thumb screw on the rear, allow the fence to be extended. I really like some of the details here, like this nubbin protruding from the movable side there to just perfectly locate the fence flush when back together. Such a good job is made of this and the machining, it's actually hard to spot where the join is initially. This little thumb screw stop I'll come back to shortly. On the top are two scaled bars, clearly marked white on black. One is fixed for the main fence, the other moves with the extender. They came set for metric, but if you flip it over, you can see the underside scale is marked for freedom units if that's your bag. You can see what I was saying about the join there. Very discreet, I'm sure you'll agree. Main giveaway being two little notches, top and bottom. Beautiful. Along the bottom of a fence is a plastic insert to help it glide over the saw table. Nice though all that is, and it is, the party piece of this fence is its flip stop. Again, loosened from the rear with a thumb screw. First thing to note is how freely it glides along the rail length. So nice for me, which I'll explain more about later when we look at the Incra. The stop itself is a chunky monkey, an almost industrial girth to it. When you're locked in on your mark, with this flip stop, you can creep up on your final cut dimension if needed by way of this micro adjust. And a proper micro adjust too. Scale marked for 0.2mm increments, giving, I think, an extra 2mm of fine adjustment. This can be locked off by a thumb screw on top. Again, all parts beautifully machined from stainless steel and black anodized alley. More than that, if more were needed, round the back of the flip stop is your red scale indicator. That's red anodized aluminium, of course. This too can be micro adjusted via its own brass or gold colored alley thumb screw. This gives you what must be about 10 mil of adjustment. There's no lock off on this, which I thought was strange, but it has a good stiffness to it and a tension spring, so you'd have to want to intentionally move it. I would have liked a lock though. You're probably thinking, that's nice Stu, let's see it in action then. But wait, there's more. The flip stop has a whole host of tapped holes in it. These are to accept a little stainless pin that lives in the other side of the stop, cunningly held there by magnets. Fitted in any of the holes, like so. That's nice Stu, what's it for? Well I'm glad you asked. If you happen to be having a mitered edge like this bearing against the stop, the pin acts as a standoff to stop the pointy tip sneaking behind your stop or deforming against it, which will not only ruin it, but will throw off your cut. Bosh. And finally, the last feature, and one I really like if I'm honest, is the stop for the stop. A couple of magnets on the back of the flip stop there. These are to engage with the magnet on that little thumb screw stop I showed earlier. This can be slid into either of the two slots on the front of the fence. With the flip stop locked in position there, you can see that, even though it's quite mighty, I can still make it flex a little with enough force, albeit quite a tiny amount. Imagine the sort of force you might exert on a flip stop butting a 50mm thick rough sawn slab up against it, like I do regularly for instance. Well, with your flip stop set and locked, move the secondary stop in behind it and the magnets will keep the two perfectly together. You can then lock off the secondary stop, making the flip stop proper an immovable object. Brilliant. You could also use the second stop as a positioner too, for a repeat operation or something. It's a really neat addition this. Actually I tell a lie, there's another thing you can do with the flip stop that I only remembered as I reached for the accessory bag. Within it is what you see laid out here. You get a tiny 1mm allen for the tiny screws that lock the cursor adjustment and the scale inserts. Replacement screw for each too. You get four M6 square nuts and four matching screws of two different lengths with which to fit a sacrificial or zero clearance fence to the front. Nice inclusion. And to the same end, you get this adapter for positioning the flip stop over the sacrificial fence. Oh, and two screws and an Allen key for that too. You have a tapped hole underneath and behind the flip stop to receive the adapter. The adapter, you notice, has a flat side to meet the tabletop, giving you an idea of how to orientate it. Just like that, 
then screw in place. Again, very nicely machined with the screws perfectly seating it flush. Shown here with some 18mm stock, if you were to choose it for your sacrificial fence, you're left with between 2 to 3mm gap under the stop, should that affect your decision. Here with some 15mm stock, the gap is reduced to around 1mm under the stop. The Goldilocks sacrificial fence thickness appears to be 12mm. This leaves the flip stop adapter sitting flush on the table. Worth saying before we move on that the flip stop having all these tapped holes does offer potential for making and attaching your own bespoke adapters for whatever need. Certainly got me thinking. So let's have a look at the Incra. First, the face height of the fence. The Hongdui has a nice sheer face about double that in height of the Incra, due at least in part to make room for Incra's indexing system. One of the things I initially bought the Incra for was its clever double flip stop. They come with a bar, which I can't for the life of me find right now, so I'm using this stand-in to demonstrate. This you can adjust to lock onto the second stop, giving a super easily adjustable second position. Useful for a few reasons, but ultimately something I used only maybe once or twice. I just didn't like the setting of it, and with the indexing, it was just quicker to batch cut one position, reset with the indexing, then cut the next. The rod of course could also serve the same function as the mitre pin on the Hong Dui. Round the back, two nylon thumb screws lock the stops. You have to sort of push it to the front to disengage the index to slide it one way or the other. Often it catches and it's actually a bit of a pain when you're trying to work quickly. This is why I mentioned the Hong Dui stop sliding so free and easy was so enticing. Zoomed in a bit you can see the Incra technically has a micro adjust. An Allen screw with a nylon locking nut. The slot it's seated in is threaded. Honestly, it's like one of my tool hacks, not something that shouts premium, know what I mean? No scale like on the Hong Dui, just a fettle and tool right affair. While we're here, you can see the red flip stops are in the rearmost slot of their mount. Mounting in the front slot gives you clearance for an 18mm sacrificial fence. Your cursor for the scale is the side wall of the stop mount, so I found the best idea was to align the first stop perfectly to it. I have it purposely set a millimetre out or so. If I loosen the stops, we can reset for flush. To do that, you back off the micro adjust a little until, say, a straight edge tells you they're flush. Then lock down the nylon nut, trying not to shift anything. Then check and repeat if necessary. Hardly intuitive, is it? And you can see what I mean by it being technically a micro adjust, but not really. It's not something you can use quickly on the fly to really dial in a cut. The scales are these plastic tapes, a replaceable item available in metric and the other one. Nothing wrong with it, you can easily set it where you want as it slides in the slot, but just a bit premium, not premium, unlike proper etched scales. Along with the double stop and indexing, I really loved that this fence was extendable. It does it really well too, nice and smooth, perfectly solid when locked, and with its own scale tape to keep you on point. Needs the Allen key to lock and unlock though. I could have, at any time, replaced that with a thumb screw but it's really close to the bottom of the fence, so it doesn't have sufficient clearance for one. So an everyday function becomes a slight pain as you rummage around for its Allen key. I only have metric Allens, and it requires one measured in barley corns, so it can get a bit stressy if it goes walkabout. In terms of extension, on the Hong Dui, because the flip stop runs into a screw head at the end, acting as a sort of limit stop, the safe max extension is around 880mm to the flip stop. I've got the smaller Incra flip fence being one cubit, but I think longer versions are available in two and two and a half cubits too. With the flip stops sat on the extender, opened out as much as I dare, I get around 680 mil to the first stop and around 770 to the second stop. Quite impressive considering how much smaller it appears than the Hong Dui, though I rarely want to be tackling anything more than 600 mil with this sort of apparatus. But look, thumb screw on the Hong Dui, closed. Allen key on the Incra, pain in the unmentionables. My main attraction to the Incra was the indexing. This is done via these red plastic inserts, at least for the metric version I have. They have little teeth at exactly 1mm spacing. These engage with the same attached to the inside of the stop mount and interlock when you tighten down. When set up properly, you can be assured to engage with the exact millimetre measurement you want. Absolutely brilliant and I love it. But I don't always want exactly on the millimetre. I sometimes want to take off a wisp or a half millimeter here and there, and there's no way to disengage the index. And, as I said, no real micro adjust. All you have would be the little bar that attaches to the stops, which needs faff and trial and error. So for exactly on the millimeter, perfect. If 
for refining a workpiece cut, not good at all. Why might I gauge the Hongdui HD TBO1? I've reviewed before and I'll link below and make sure the review pops up at the end if you're interested. It's a hell of a thing and a perfect match for the Inker I've been using it with, as it will be, obviously, for the Hongdui fence. Let's get it slid on and set up then. I've got the fence pretty much where I want it there, about one mil away from the blade. I can then slide the flip stop up so it's just kissing the blade and lock it down. I should note here that the micro adjust is all the way back. You don't want to set with the micro adjust floating in the center of the adjustment zone. Keep fully back as the default and only use it to creep a cut up on the blade if needed. Happy with the stop position, I can zero the cursor. I've moved it away from the blade here just so you can more clearly see what I'm doing. I found the Incra much more of a faff to dial in as there's no zero on the tape. So final adjustment is via fence position on the gauge itself and can be quite time consuming to get just right. Before setting the extension scale, I'm going to get the fence sitting square to the blade and table. With this Hongdui mitre gauge, you have all the adjustment you could want to get that right. To square the fence to the table, the gauge has these three Allen screws each side. Loosening them all gives a little play to true up. You can see from the movement in the square there, the top of the fence needs to come forward. Roll the fence to meet the square flush, then lock down. Same the other side. Looking lovely. Last setup step then is the extension scale. You can see there, right at the end of the scale is an Allen screw. This is what acts as a limit for the flag stop. The screw sits in an oval slot to allow for a little adjustment. I open the extension to 600mm. You can see on the fence proper there are two cursor marks. One for metric, the other for thumb breadths. Using a good old tape to check how close to 600 we are, it's a little off the blade, so I need to move the scale. Loosened off, you can see the scale bar move back and forth. About 3mm of movement overall I'd say. I set it as far as it will go forward, as that looks like it'll put me where I want to be. Move the stop back, open to 600mm and check with the tape. Worth mentioning again that the micro adjust is still fully backed off. That looks like it has to be bang on 600 to the blade. Now I've used all of the adjustment available here. If you needed a little more, instead of setting the fence proper 1mm from the blade, you could try 2mm from the blade or vice versa, whatever gets your scale accurate. I'm not going to go mad with tests here because what's the point? There's little use me demonstrating accuracy or squareness to you as these things are dependent entirely on how well you do your own setup. What I hope I've demonstrated, and will be demonstrating with these example cuts, is the scope and ease with which you can dial in this fence, and how easy it is to use. That's the important stuff with premium gear, I think. It should be easy to use, not trip you up in its everyday functionality. It should have good quality, fine adjustment for both accurate setup and on-the-fly dial-ins. This Hongdui fence hits all of those points. The Incra, not so much. If you take the time, the Incra is entirely accurate to the millimetre but it's not easy to refine or fine tune and even a bit cumbersome with day to day use. Still, a check of the cut at 600mm using the fence extension shows it's bang on and a nice square cut both sides to boot. I don't use my table saw for panels really, preferring instead to use my MFT but this small MDF panel I trim to 495mm again with the fence slightly extended to double check it is dialed and the result again I couldn't be happier with exactly 495. For the complete set I'm doing a small 180mm cut which uses the main fence scale which if right will show both scales are in unison. Thought I might as well use a secondary stop so you can see how quick it is to position and use. A perfect 180mm cut matching the rear cursor position. Very happy with this. Again though it's not about showing the accuracy so much as this is on you and you're setting up. More showing the scope for correct setup the ease with which it can be done, and of course, how intuitive and easy it is to use. And as I said, the Hongdui hits all these marks, especially when paired with the brilliant mitre gauge. The ease of extending the fence, the clarity of the cursor against the marks, the ease of gliding for positioning of the flip stop, top quality micro adjust, and the broad face of the fence itself just means the Hongdui, for me, has the Inca completely beat, and it's the one I'll be using from now on. All that remains is the ceremonial passing of my little position stop from the Incra to the Hongdui. This I used to set the fence back to 90 degree position for those times I've moved it to cut a mitre. It's just a screw, a nut and a fancy seated washer. Why manufacturers don't supply these on fences I've no idea. Let's talk turkey briefly then. 
At the time of doing this video, the Hongdui HD KS22 Mitre Fence is selling on Banggood for £123.62. The HD TB01 Mitre Gauge is about the cheapest I've seen it right now at £111.58 from a retail price of £170. The Incra extendable fence starts at $69.95 for the small one cubit one like mine and the flip shop stop sold separately is another £62.95, a combined £132.90. The Hongdui fence is right there with it then really in terms of price. Both lovely products and who doesn't love a bit of Incra bling? I don't mean to do the Incra dirty so much, just that I think in usability the Hongdui just wins out hands down. Probably a longer video than necessary for something as basic as a fence, but they're important accessories and, being fortunate enough to compare two premium offerings, it's only right to do a bit of a deep dive so you have an idea what to expect if you want to flash your cash. To that end, I hope this has been interesting and or helpful. Love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Like if you did, sub if you aren't already, and as ever, if you made it this far, thanks for watching.